Hi guys, this is James from Basketball Noise and I absolutely love NBA jerseys. However, I also love getting a discount. I don't believe anything online should be bought at full price. So today I'm going to give you 12 tips on how to get cheaper NBA jerseys. So these 12 tips are to help buy official NBA jerseys online. Uh, and I don't believe anything should be bought at full price and my favourite thing to do is to try and find the biggest discount so this is what I found out over the years so tip one is to join a newsletter so every shop or online store has a newsletter and it's a way of converting sales it's pretty simple if you're on a newsletter you are interested in buying products from this shop so the the stores know that you are a easy sale that you want to buy from their shop so if you're in their newsletter they might entice you with five percent off or if you spend 50 pounds then you get a free cap so if you join the newsletter you are more likely to get discounts secondly some websites like like the nba store have a discount if you sign up so you can sign up and you get 10% straight away, which is an easy way to get a discount on a jersey. So tip number two is really easy and takes a few seconds to do. If you've got Google Chrome, go to uh, the Google Chrome store and go to extensions and download either Pouch or Honey. And what these extensions do is when you are buying something from Fanatics or the NBA store, they will search the web for all the discount codes. And then when you get to the purchase page um, or the cart page where you're going to put in your money and pay for it, it will show a notification of all the discount codes. You hit run and it automatically um, puts the codes in for you and uh, tries to get you a discount. So it's an easy way, which only takes a few seconds uh, to get a discount on your purchase. Okay, so tip number three is to wait for the sales. So during the year, there are certain times when sales happen. So this will be Black Friday. Everyone knows about that. So they'll be discounted uh, on that date. But also public holidays, there tends to be discounts. So um, in America, 4th of July, Father's Day, they will do discounts on the website, um, which means if you're not in a rush to get the jersey, it is a great opportunity to get a discount if you've got time to wait and you're not in any immediate need to get the jersey. Also, just before the start of the new season, the stores are trying to get rid of old stocks. So that's when jerseys are going to be discounted. Um, so it's a good opportunity to buy a cheap jersey then. So tip number four is to leave your items in the basket. Now, again, I haven't tried this on basketball websites but it works on many different websites uh, in the past and I've got discount from doing this is if you're in no rush to purchase get the item you want to buy put it in your checkout and shut your window what happens is if you've logged into your account on that website you may get an email maybe two days later maybe a week later saying we've noticed that you've got this product in your checkout here's a discount code or here's free delivery in order for you to complete that purchase. They know you are right at the gate of purchasing the product and you just need that final push to uh, purchase it. So they will offer a discount in order for you to do that. It might not work on basketball sites, um, but it's worth the try at least. And so tip number five is about cashback websites i absolutely love cashback websites because again it is getting money back off a purchase without even having to do anything so what happens is there is websites like quickco.com and you log in and you search for nba store you search for Nat for fanatics you search for nike and you will receive a percentage of your purchase back for clicking the link within Quidco and going through to the website. So all you have to do is click a link and you get a percentage of the sale back. So the NBA store at the moment isn't great. It's 1.4%, which isn't really going to do a lot. But Fanatics is 4%. So you're like, okay, I spend £100. That's only £4 back. Yeah, but if you put it in with your newsletter discount and if there's a sale at a time, it actually becomes quite significant. And it's so easy to do. It's just clicking through a link 
which is already on a website. It takes no time whatsoever and you get some of your money back. So one of my important tips of all tips is to make sure that you hit the like button and hit the subscribe button because this helps us with the YouTube algorithm and we're just trying to grow our channel and get our thoughts about jerseys out to more people. So it's really appreciated if you could do that. So tip number six is to search for discount codes. So this does take a little bit of time, but the reason why we do this is because extensions such as Pouch and Honey they don't have all the discount codes in there. Sometimes people have unique discount codes. For example, if you go to the NBA store and type in the discount code basketball noise, you'll get 10% off, but we haven't put that discount code into honey or pouch. So therefore there are discount codes out there which get you a discount. So what you need to do is you need to go and search Google, copy the discount codes over and then try them one by one on the purchase page. Now, there's another tip that I like using and it's still part of the discount codes tip, but it works from time to time. And when it does work, it is special and it's called stacking. It's pretty straightforward and it's getting all the discount codes together that you found and you put them all in and see if you're not just limited to one discount code. So on some websites, you will be limited to one discount code. However, what happens with stacking is there isn't this requirement. And so you can put multiple discount codes in at once and you get a bigger discount. So tip number seven is to use student discount if you are a student. So what you do here is you just go to your website and you go to the bottom and usually there is a link to student discounts. So usually you have to have an affiliation card. In the UK, you have the NUS card. In America, I'm sure you have a card which is very similar and you can get a student discount. I know that Fanatics have this at the bottom of their website and click the link to find out more details about student discounts. A few years ago, you used to be able to enroll into a cheap online course and get an NUS card. Unfortunately, this loophole has now stopped. So this is only available to people who are students. If you are a student and studying any university course, whether it's part-time, full-time, then make sure you get an NUS card because it only costs like £12 and it saves you a lot of money. So tip number eight is to purchase gift cards when they're on sale from retailers. And so what I mean by that is that Amazon and big supermarkets from time to time offer gift cards at a discount. It's usually between 5 and 10%. And this doesn't seem like a lot of money. However, if you're buying an authentic jersey which costs 190 to 200 pounds, then you can go and buy a gift card when there's this sale for 200 pounds. You get 10% off, so you're only spending 180. And it... Tip number nine is to check the outlet section of the website. This is where there is the heaviest amount of discounting, and it is where you can find some right bargains. However, they might have limited sizes and they might be limited selection, but it's always worth having a look through the outlet store because you can find significant discounts for jerseys that may be interest to you. So tip number 10 is to check the eBay outlet stores. Big brands have outlet stores on eBay and it's not a bidding auction eBay store. It is genuinely just a store on eBay and there's discounts on there. And also, if you go back to my cashback point, you can go through Quidco and get cash back on eBay. So you make even bigger saving on the jersey that you want to buy. So it's always worth looking on the eBay outlet store just to. So tip number 11 is vintage stores. And vintage stores can be a bit of a gold mine when it comes to buying basketball jerseys. However, there is a catch. So the catch is some vintage stores know the correct price for a jersey and charge appropriately. But some vintage stores don't know when they've got a fake and they charge extortionately. And we've seen an example recently where there's a Magic Johnson all-star game jersey, but it's a fake and they're charging £135 for this fake. I'll put it up on screen here so you can see it here. You just gotta look at the labels in the bottom left. If you're unsure about a jersey, rather than buy it, go to Reddit and go to the basketball jersey section and ask for a legit check and people in there will tell you straight away whether it is a fake jersey or a real one. 
you can find some real bargains on vintage stores because a lot of people don't realize the worth of a basketball jersey we have found some really great jerseys in vintage stores for not a lot of money i'm talking about 20 pounds the problem is though is that there's only specific sizes so if it's not in your size then you've got a bit of a problem because you obviously want a jersey in your size but it's definitely worth the searching if you do the searching you can be rewarded with some real treasures tip number 12 is if again you don't want to buy a new jersey you can go to a charity shop in the UK we have charity shops online I know in America there's goodwill shops currently because there's a global pandemic then there's not too much on there but we can actually search online on our charity shops and usually you can sometimes find a good bargains charity shops aren't what they were 20 years ago they, they've got wise to what people were doing people used to go in and they used to buy products and then sell them in vintage stores for a lot more but it's always worth a look in charity shops because you can find some real gold mines I hope you found those tips really helpful. Tell us in the comments of the biggest discounts you've got and if there's any tips that we've missed because I'd love to find out if there's any other way I could get a discount. Check out our video here if you're unsure of what type of jersey to buy. We do a complete look at the current NBA jerseys and it should give you some real insight into what jersey you want to buy. I hope you found those tips really helpful. Tell us in the comments of the biggest discounts you've got and if there's any tips that we've missed because I'd love to find out if there's any other way I could get a discount. Check out our video here if you're unsure of what type of jersey to buy. We do a complete look at the current NBA jerseys and it should give you some real insight into what jersey you want to buy.